ねえねえお母さんあの人男の子女の子 I hear a boy cry out cheerfully as I burst out of the Schwarze Katze. Is he talking about. Dame de show! She's a kind of shinna sabi! Demo, onna no ko mita na kao na no ni, otoko no ko mita na kako ste reo! Nana, go sta! Oka sa, go sta! Go me na sai ne! Ua, ie! Yup, he's talking about Shiba san. The way she's holding Akagi conceals the bulges that would normally prove she's a girl. She kinda looks like a really cute guy. Shiba san just can't catch a break today. Shiba san! Hoshino kun? Yotoste. Mitata no kana. Hmm? See what? I awkwardly play dumb. I came here to try and cheer her up a bit. I can't be making her feel even worse. She's probably figured out why I'm here, though. I take her back, still trying to hide the real reason I came running after her. Oh, hold your back. Must be hard while you're carrying Akagi. <laughs> no, I insist. You're a girl, after all. After saying that, I immediately lose the ability to look Shiba-san in the eye. Ugh. That was way too obvious, huh? I couldn't think of a better way to say it, though. Playing it cool is clearly not my strong suit. Phew, I thought you were gonna call me a playboy again or something. <laughs> oh, come on, I'd actually need to be popular first. Shiba-san's laughter brings me a sense of relief. It seems like she isn't as depressed as I thought she was. Oh, I was probably worrying over nothing, but... I thought that you might find it hard to come to the OC tomorrow. Huh? Of course you seem the most worried about what Akagi did out of all of us. Every time I tell Shiba-sa not to worry about this, I sense a strong apologetic feeling coming from her. No matter how many times we say we forgive her, she still feels guilty. Maybe that's because she sees Akagi as part of her family. Shiba-san gently strokes Akagi's head with her index finger. Maybe she comes across that way because she's so small? I had the advantage of meeting her first. Due to that, I kinda had the impression that all Alps were cool, calm, and collected. <laughs> hey, Shiba san, you're not. Geez, don't scare me like that. Shiba-san adjusts her grip on the towel Akagi is bundled in. The resigned smile on her face makes her look the spitting image of a doting mother. The relationship between elves and witches vary quite a bit, huh? I mean, Soma-san's more like a reliable big sister to Ayachi-san. Akagi promised that she'd make your wish come true, right? I was just thinking about how much you care for Akagi. Yeah, I know. 
I gotta admit, I'm curious to know what kind of wish you want granted badly enough to go through this. Shiba-san's eyes narrow as she evaluates me. Should I not have asked? What? I won't, I swear. No, I... I do actually, don't I? But it's a wish you want badly enough to make yourself dress up as a guy, right? That's her price for becoming a witch, so her wish must be something worth going through that for. So I would never laugh at that. Hmm, I think you look pretty good anyway. I'd rather die. At the very least, I wouldn't be able to go to school like that. And even if I were to stay at home, the thought of what my dad would say is enough to give me a stomachache. But that's just how horrible it would be. I get your point though, the way everyone would go on about how cute I look in girls' clothes would make me want to die. Yeah, I'm sorry about everything before. I put my hands together and beg for forgiveness. Look, I know this doesn't make up for it, but I'll tell you my secret. What kind of jackass tries to get at someone's secrets when they haven't finished talking about their own? You know how you asked earlier why I can't see witches? The thing is, Akagi isn't the first one to mistake me for a witch. Apparently, Ayashi-san thought the same thing at first. I explain how my mom used to be a witch and how the magical energy she passed on left me able to perceive other people's emotions through my senses. Nah, that would be telepathy. My ability is closer to empathy. Telepathy is understanding what someone's thinking, while empathy is understanding what someone is feeling. I don't know if this explanation makes things any easier, but I can sort of read people's moods through sensations I pick up with my tongue and ears. Hmm, well, speaking from experience, being able to read the mood and knowing how to behave are different things. I have a bad habit of just saying whatever's on my mind. I can't really control my ability. To be honest with you, that previously made me want to distance myself from other people as much as possible. Huh? I was pretty good at making it at least look like everything was fine. Though I guess people told me I had eyes like a dead fish pretty often. Yeah, I changed after joining the OC. I was taking life more seriously by the time I met you. So the reason I come across as such a moron is that I'm not really used to interacting with people. That's how much of a burden my power has been. Don't you find it creepy? I've been reading your emotions this whole time. A bitterness manifests on the back of my tongue. Huh? I think Shiba-san feels really bad about this. Personally, I think it's pretty normal to feel slightly creeped out by my power, even if you are a witch. 
私の方も秘密を話すね私が魔女になった時の願い事 You sure? 大した話じゃないのにもったいぶって恥ずかしくなっちゃったでもできれば笑わないでほしいかな I won't 私にとって女の子らしい可愛い格好をするのはこだわりだったんだその頃どうしても欲しい服があってね You didn't wish for money to buy clothes or something, did you? それはちゃんとバイトもしてたもん。Makes sense. That wouldn't be worth becoming a witch for. So, how is this connected to her becoming a witch? けど、せっかくバイト代が入ったのに、ちょうどその日に欲しかった服が売り切れちゃったみたいで。Huh? No, there's got to be more to it than this, right? 絶望して途方に暮れてたところへ赤木が声をかけてくれたんだ。You what? だから私の願いは売り切れた服をもう一着だけお店に並べてほしいってことでね。Seriously? That's it? So, uh, that's why you have to dress up as a guy? The cost efficiency is seriously messed up here. You're being cheated if you're paying that price for something so small. This is far too cruel. So, so, じゃないんだよ。本当はもっと軽い代償になるはずだったんだと思う。でも、普通は心のかけらを集め終えたところで、願いが叶うんだけど、その時は、どうしても、どうしても急がなきゃいけない事情があって。赤木に魔力の前借りをしちゃったんだ。Wait, does that mean you already have those clothes and the high price is just the interest on that loan? う、う、うん。だいたいそんな感じ。うん。うん。<笑><笑><笑> What the hell? <笑>やっぱり笑った I mean, I never thought it would be something so pointless. <笑> like, she loaned you her magic and the interest on that loan is forcing you to dress as a guy? That means you haven't even been able to wear them yet, right? Still clutching Akagi, Shiba san starts pounding on my chest. I'm sorry, I really didn't mean to laugh, not until I heard the full story. Yeah, I know that much. Okay, okay, just calm down. Oh, it's fine. I thought she'd keep on beating me up for a bit. That's not true. I sense more bitterness from Shiba san. Look, I'm really sorry. I know I promised not to laugh. I have no excuses. Well, I could feel how worried you are about this. So it made me feel kind of guilty. Well, my power is not that great, so it's not very precise. Hmm, how can I explain this? Oh, I've got it. Like the seriousness of a feeling comes down to its temperature. Do you like cream stew, Shiba san? This is probably the easiest way to explain the bitter regret I was feeling from Shiba san. 
So what if that very same stew was put in the freezer? <laughs> Genuine kindness feels like that piping hot stew. But lies and hypocrisy feel like frozen stew is being forcibly poured into my mouth. And there is nothing I can do about it, being surrounded by people feeling like that is the worst. Like, it's pure hell! Huh? <laughs> Tears form in the corners of Shiba-san's eyes. Uh, what's wrong? Was it something I said? Why are you apologizing? Oh, hold on. That's... that's really not true. I grab her shoulders. She's so warm. Your emotions are always warm to me. <laughs> yeah, really. Now that I think about it, I haven't once felt an emotion from you that has made me feel gross. I only just this realize myself. Shiba-san's emotions really do always feel warm. Maybe, but even so, that's the honest to God truth. I find myself so panicked that it's almost humorous. Now that I think about it, was there really any need to tell her everything in so much detail? I've never told anyone this much before, not even Ayachi-san. Her genuine worry for me made me pour my heart out. I can't tell her what you are actually thinking about, but at the very least, it's never been anything that's made me feel gross. Yeah, I guess not. So, sorry, I'll be sure to speak up in future. I'm really sorry. The November breeze brushes my cheeks, my scarf blowing in the wind. And yet, it's so warm being by this girl's side. I'm being told off, but the sheer ridiculousness of the situation is making me giddy. I've never felt this way about anything before. <laughs> <laughs> サノバウィッチ